Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy and I'm going to do a set of coasters using the Bloom recipe. I was going through a lot of my paint the other day and I realized I have a lot of paint that's been mixed up a long time and it's at the point where I either have to liven it up or throw it away. And so I'm going to be doing a lot of using up of old paint. So this is Southern Ocean Blue from Matisse. That one's not so much old, but we're going to use it as one of our acrylic paints. And this color is a primary elements color. This is called Over the Moon, and it's a glitz color, meaning it's a semi-opaque. Um, I think it's from the Jelly Bean set, and it's really beautiful. It has like a violet shift, kind of a frosty aqua. And I'm going to use... Um, Atelier uh, Free Flow Magenta and Atelier Free Flow Diox Purple. I'm also going to use a Titanium White, that's the Diox Purple, uh, Titanium White Cell Activator with a new one I haven't tried, which is another um, Gram Cell Activator. It's Anthraquinone Blue. It has kind of a Payne's Gray type tint, maybe a little bit more blue than a Payne's Gray. Um, but I use them both together. So I'm using the white underneath the blue. And so this is as much about experimenting with cell activator as it is about using up color. But, you know, I have boxes and boxes of coaster tiles. My coasters are probably one of the things that sell the most frequently on my Etsy shop. Um, so keeping them stocked up is good. It takes me forever to get them all resined and ready to go. So it's a good way to use up old paint and not throw it away. I hate to waste things, if, but I tend to mix up paint, use it in one pour, and then keep it in a drawer. And then before you know it, it's so old and it's too thick. And I'm talking, you know, six months or better. So, so as you see, we have the Southern Ocean Blue, the Over the Moon, the Diox Purple, and the Magenta. And um, these are on four-inch tiles I get from Lowe's. I like them more than the ones from Home Depot because they don't have that weird edge. Okay, and that blue one is that uh, blue I mentioned that I've never tried before from Graham. They're both Graham cell activators. Um, I get them from Blick. And I'm using the little world smallest blower to blow out. I know I'm working on blowing things out myself, but for coasters, that thing works better and you get really cool cells, so... I'm not trying to be difficult. Um, so sorry that I'm in the way, but I'm basically extending the cell activator myself where I didn't necessarily blow it out so well. So I did speed this up for you guys so that I could do all of the coasters with you on camera. Um, but I love the way that double cell activator looks. Obviously, I thought the blue on top would be a little bit more dominant, but the white underneath is more dominant. But it has really cool, well-defined cells with a little bit of a blue outline. So super love the way these turned out. I was thinking to myself, man, just to use up some old paint, these ended up being um, some of the prettiest coasters I think I've ever made. So... Um, the only paint that was old was the Over the Moon, and the Southern Ocean Blue had been mixed up for a while, but it still had a good consistency. But the Over the Moon um, had been mixed up so long that it was super thick, so I had to thin it down with a little Josonia and, and water. I usually um, keep a bottle that's about three parts Josonia to one part water. So there's our close-up of our first one. Really pretty, right? Love it. You can see a little bit of that blue. It seems like when you do coasters, the first one is always like you're kind of getting your feet wet before you start the second one. So here's the second one. Um, and if you are new to my channel, uh, obviously I'm using the Bloom recipe. I have a tutorial listed below showing you kind of what ingredients I usually use um, for the pillow, the the mix, cell activator, etc. Sorry about the blurriness. I'll fix it in a second. That over the moon color is so beautiful. 
I also have um, discount codes listed below. I have 20% off anything on Color Arts website, which is where that Over the Moon color is from. Um, I have 10% off for Pixel Paint Designs, where I get my Australian Flow Troll and Boom Gels. Um, I have the, um, the Blick link, where if you shop through our link, it helps our channel. That's where I buy most of my regular art supplies. Um, so don't forget to check that out below. But these end up being really cool and just having the right amount of shimmer. I had just mixed up the magenta and the diox purple. Um, so those were not old at all. I generally try to keep a few colors mixed up in kind of larger containers that I use most often. But I have a tendency to like over mix and keep too many things mixed up and then before you know it I don't even have a place to put anything and I might use a color one time and then it might sit there for six months it's terrible so I have to do better about uh, kind of using up the colors so you'll see a lot of stuff like this in the future I love to see them kind of come together like that I don't know if you saw that kind of drama in the center where all that came together but this color palette is really, really beautiful. I mean, you can't go wrong with magenta, purple, and some form of like a turquoise thalo or southern ocean blue, right? Those are pretty fail-safe combos. But this was a lot of fun for me because I got to experiment with that blue cell activator. I'd kind of like to see what this color palette looks like with that just that cell activator and not the white. Um, but it could be too dark. You could see some places where it kind of looks cool on the edges where the white lacing doesn't extend so you just come to be careful about how much of the diox purple you put in It'd be worth a shot though I loved the way this one turned out just look at the depth of color there so pretty love it so you guys have to let me know what you think it's funny how using up old colors or something ends up being like something remarkable <laughs> all right so southern ocean blue from matisse i have both the flow and the fluid um i love matisse fluid paints so this would be similar to like a golden fluid um they're very creamy and pigmented i love them that's over the moon you can't use a fluid paint as like a cell activator or something um but for mixing with your pouring medium, I really love them. And that was the Atelier Diox Purple. This is the Atelier Magenta. I also love the Atelier Fluid. I would say um, Matisse, Golden, Atelier, and even Holbein Fluid acrylics are really, really good. I only have one Holbein Fluid, but I the one I have I really love. So... So this um, world's smallest blower, I get it on Amazon and sometimes it gets out of stock, but it's really fun for coasters because it's like the perfect amount of air pressure and it's not too much. Like if you kind of find your rhythm with it, it's really easy to use on coasters. It's not that great for anything bigger than like six inches because it's too narrow and I have the same problem that I have when I kind of blow things out with my mouth is the path is almost too narrow. That's one of my challenges I have blowing things out myself is I don't seem to be able to like widen my, my breath or get far enough away to get that wider path. But for coasters, it's perfect. If you kind of follow the way around the circle, it really helps get great cells. And look at those little peacock looking cells where you've got the color within the color it was just beautiful. I love the way they turn out. I just thought these were like really, really, really beautiful. I loved, I love the way that Southern Ocean Blue gets bright as it stretches out over the white base. It's kind of a transparent color. And that's one of the benefits of using a semi-transparent or transparent is the color kind of, is like a little sheet over the white. And so you get you get to see what it looks like stretched out over a, a brighter color. And color comes through it, so you can, if you use it in the middle, colors are going to come through it. So 
That's kind of cool. There's a globby here. I don't know if you can tell that I'm trying to fix this. But I just really love these. I just kept going back and looking at them as they were drying. And I was like, they're so pretty. And so happy and bright. And I just love the way that white lacing looks as a double cell activator as opposed to just using white. I was really surprised by those results. All right, sorry about the blurry. <clears throat> and here comes the last one. One of my favorite things about the Bloom recipe is there's so many ways to play around with it where you never really get bored. You know, blooms, swipes, you know, beetles back, blooms, swipes, iridescent colors, like interference colors. Um, you know, you can do negative space swipes, you can do transfer swipes, you can do, you know, transfer blooms, which I'm not brave enough to do yet. But, like, it's if you really enjoy using the recipe, which I do, it's very fun to me to try all the different ways. <clears throat> um, and I continue to learn from people who are in the the group that have taken the class. I continue to learn new things from other artists. And so I always, I love to like attend the, like the supplemental lives and stuff within the, within the group and, you know, watch other artists on YouTube trying new things because it always gives me ideas of things I can try. But if you have followed my channel, you know that I don't like to be bad at things. So sometimes it takes me a while to try new things because I don't really like the learning curve involved. <laughs> I just want to like go from an idea to being great at something. So that's not always how life works, right? <clears throat> so let me know what you think. I am using a turkey baster there just to break up the surface tension in the middle. So the, the cells that are under that excessive cell activator will come through. You don't want to blow hard in the middle when you do that. You want to blow gently, just enough to break that surface tension. <clears throat> excuse me and I'm using these little weird tweezers to pop a couple bubbles and we'll spin this guy out and yeah let me know what you think I have a close-up coming up for you shortly but let me know what you think about the color combo um, and yeah I, I will tell you that I will sprinkle some of these videos in because I have a ton of paint mixed up that I need to use and it doesn't take much paint to use it up with with like coasters and, and stuff so um, I am going to try to kind of use some of the paint so it's not wasted and make some coasters because I do need to restock my Etsy store anyway so it's kind of a two for one and it's it's kind of an easy win you know it's a small surface you're not going to screw up the bloom too bad and good stress relief easy win but I really love these I love the way they turned out so look at that beautiful color that over the moon color is really spectacular and it looks great with these colors so please like and subscribe leave me a comment let me know what you think thank you for all your support and uh, I'll talk to you soon take care everyone bye